lovely humans, it is Molly from Molly Reads and Writes, and today I thought I would share with you why I write. Thankfully Jude has decided it is acceptable that I have this chair to myself again. He is not very good at sharing. I thought I would do a short video today, because I plan on spending most of my day writing at Starbucks writing a lot. I wrote a lot last night, and I have a lot more to say, so I'm going to say it. But that got me thinking about why I write, and I decided to share with you. Neighbors must use the saw now. So I write because I have a lot of... Yeah, I'm clever. Brilliant ideas. Really though, I write because my head is always going. I always have something that I'm thinking up and distracted by and it drives my friends and family nuts because quite often I'm not actually paying attention to anything they're saying. I'm thinking up different what if scenarios. And that's one of the things that goes through my head a lot all the time is I just I like to think out every possible scenario and every direction that my life could go like all of them and some people don't enjoy that but I found that English and writing was something I was good at I was so amazing at school conceited so amazing at school like elementary when I was growing up then I got into junior high and everything was different and my sister was really picking up as the smart one of the family like, the genius always. She'd cry if she got anything less than an A+. She wouldn't cry. She doesn't cry. But anyway. <laughs> and I started to really struggle with math and sciences. And the only thing that I was capable of wrapping my head around was English, LA, language arts class, and social studies. Like, that was it. Everything else I just found myself always lost and confused and I went to tutoring and it didn't really help and I just, yeah, I did not have very good grades in most classes in high school. I just didn't understand it. There's only so much you can do when you don't understand something. So math is still confusing to me. Science is still difficult, but I can get it if I take a really, really long time with it. So we stick with English and writing and creating. After high school and the struggles that happened there, I went to university for psychology. Why? I don't know. I did it because you're supposed to go to university straight out of high school. I didn't want to, and I didn't enjoy it, and I was awful at it because I hated it, um, and I ended up spending a lot of my classes confused, but also writing. So I would take random notes on the lecture if it was something I could even understand, and then I wrote instead, which, I mean, maybe was not the best idea, but it was what got me through the year and a half that I spent in university. Because I did one year, and then I took a semester off, and then I kind of felt pressured into, like, you should enjoy university, you should do it. So I tried again, and yeah, it was worse the second time. I'm never doing it again. If I ever, ever do school again, it'll be the Editors Association of Canada, all of their editing courses, which are all self-paced, self-driven, and the only thing you have to go in anywhere to do is the test. That is it. That is it. Because I love editing. Yeah, that was my school career, and I decided I was not cut out for a normal person job. I just couldn't do it. I can't understand a lot of those things, and they bore me and frustrate me, so I write. So I write. A couple days ago, I guess I started on a secret project. I just have a lot going on in my head, and I decided to write it all out, and it just kind of is reminding me like why I write and why I love to do it. I've always written letters to people I care about, because it's easier to, to write and it's funner, and I think for me that that shows how I feel for them. That shows my love, is sending letters, because, yeah, I like letters. I love letters. So in writing some letters to various people lately, and in really picking up, getting back into writing, instead of planning, 
because I'm still planning that science fiction and it's slightly killing me right now, but we're not talking about that. <laughs> um, yeah, I've been writing out all of my thoughts and my thoughts are going well. I've got a whole bunch of this book filled and I've got a list of others to continue on, which is what I'm going to do today, but I write to clear my head. I write because my head is full and my head is busy and I want to clear it, but I want to share it. Because sometimes I think, sometimes I think I have things to say and things that matter. In the comments down below, you should share with me why you write. Because everyone has a reason. And everyone's reasons are a little different. And I think they're all a little personal, too. So, I mean, if you don't want to share, you don't have to. But I would like to know, seeing as I shared with you, why I write and where my writing came from. So, if you liked this, you should subscribe to see more in the future. And I hope that you have an awesome morning, afternoon, or evening, whichever it is, wherever you are. See ya.